four and six Miami Dolphins, but I think this is a game we should, can and should win. I think. So let's get that weekly strategy going. I'm not scared of Tua. I'll, I'll defend the short pass. I think is perfect because I don't know what else he's going to be able to throw. And I really don't want to throw on Xavier Howard, so I think we should be focusing on running the ball inside. And yeah, let's just go with that for now. And there is our training done for the day. Let's upgrade players. Davis Mills gets an upgrade. We're going to get him, hopefully, over up to... I mean, he's playing, not playing. Uh, I guess he's still a 69 overall. Didn't go up to in 70. That's what I was going to say, but need to get that throw power up. 88 is just too little. Too little. want to just be able to bomb a ball down the field and let, like, Cooks, Kirk, Watson. These guys are all fast. They just need to be able to run underneath one. But with that being said, let's get into this week again if you are enjoying the content if you're watching on twitch live you could just hit that follow button or if you're watching on youtube later uh a like and a uh subscri subscribe would be very much appreciated you can do it during the boring scenes that i'm on i don't care just go ahead and uh hit that as long as you hit it that's all i care about so let's see what Tua Tungadaioa has got for us. He's looking good this year. 18 touchdowns, 7 picks. Only 2,400 yards, though. You'd expect more from a quarterback in this day and age at this point in the season. Um, but I'm going to use her Al Shair here, I think. It's going to be a run. Oh, he's hammered. Justin Reed hammers it. Chase Edmonds actually signed in Miami in real life, and now he's there. Brian Flora is not the coach anymore, though. Awkward. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Chase Edmonds did sign there in real life in the offseason. I think he has potential in that scheme, the Mike McDaniel scheme that uses multiple running backs and uh, gadget players. I think Chase Edmonds could be in for a good year fantasy-wise. Because I think he's just going to be a better version of what Miles Gaskin was supposed to, is, should be for Miami, but the team just never used him. Will be a good receiving threat, a good elusive back threat, a good like third down back, scat back type of type of role. Even line up in wide receiver spot, and then they can use some of their other guys as like hammers and more traditional running backs. McDuffie will make that tackle, seven yard pa passing completion from Tua. After we got them to jump offside, let's see. I feel like this is a very weak offensive line, and we should be able to get some shit done with Thibodeau today. So I'm going to control Thibodeau more than I normally would, I think. I'm going to make sure I have this play ball and the cover by speed because I don't want... Jalen Waddle is absolutely someone who would destroy Rasul Douglas one-on-one. -on -one. So can't have let that happen. I don't want has got the throw off. He's hit as he throws. Good defense down there. Marcus May covering uh, Jalen Waddle. Incomplete pass, and we are going to force a punt. Jordan Berry looks like is the punter wearing number 30 for the Dolphins. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me we hit the punter. Oh. A legal block in the back, even though uh, we didn't even return it. So that's cool. <laughs> well, so we'll get the ball to 10 to start our day. And I think we're going to start off with a nice, healthy run to Jamal Williams. And he's got a first down. 11 yards. Great run. The Lions upset the Bills today in week 12 of the NFL season. Minnesota 3-8. and eight. Wow. Maybe they'll look to replace Kirk Cousins with this big quarterback crop if they had to stay in that spot. And Joku looks like a, the guy here. Everyone playing off with the off ball coverage from the safety. That's who they get, who we get, and that's an eight yard completion for Mills. 
And then I'm going to have to go power weak here. We're going to try to plow it right up the middle, get that first down. Great pulling by the guard. And it's a great run by Jamal Williams, 14 yards. He's already got 26 on the, on the ground. This is what we need to keep focusing on. The secondary is good for Miami. I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather just run the ball right down their throats. Four yards, taking that all day. Oh, they're going to call that an illegal forward pass. I mean, I tried to just, like, I didn't, they were covering it well. <laughs> Technically, kind of looks like a backward pass, but, oh, well, I know. It'll be third and 11 now. Still looking at Njoku here. Maybe Cooks. And we got Njoku. Just strong, bigger and stronger to outmuscle him for that ball. It's a good first down. He had that big debut. He's had a few other big games where he's had over 100 yards, but Njoku hasn't been very consistent for us. We need him to be consistent moving forward. Because Cooks seems to be our only consistent receiving threat. Kirk has been picking it up the past couple weeks, so we don't have a consistent third receiver at all. Um, we very rarely look to throw to Watson. We will here, though, and he'll make the catch right behind the Jerome Baker and gain a good bit of yards. We're going right down on the field on this team. 90 yards for it would be a touchdown. And we're 15 away from doing that. So Jamal Williams gets another handoff. He's going to gain four of that. And gives us a nice second and six. Good, easy, manageable situation. I'm thinking Kirk's going to come in motion, and it's going to make me decide if I'm going to throw to Brevin Jordan or not. Oh, nope. Oh, wow. I really thought he had overrun that and ran right past it, and that's a terrible throw on my part. I'm just my own worst enemy today in these games. I'm my own worst enemy. It's terrible. And we got a jet sweep to Devontae Parker for one yard. And I don't like this look at all. <laughs> I hope KT can get there. Somebody can get there. Get some pressure on Tua. And we do. And it's incomplete. I think we got to keep getting pressure on Tua. We just have to keep getting the pressure. And here comes the blitz off the edge, and it's a sack. The safety got there. Or the corner, it's Rasul Douglas getting Tua at the one-yard line. Almost a safety. Great play. Let's see if we can block this punt. Oh, almost, almost. And Algier has nowhere to go. We're going to do a jet touch pass here to Jamal Williams, see if he can get around the outside, maybe truck over somebody. And here we go. We do have it going outside. Xavier Howard trucks him, and it's an 8-9 yard completion, technically, to Jamal Williams. All right, so Davis Mills will hand it off again now to Jamal Williams, and he gets a first down. Seven carries for 40 yards already for Williams in the first quarter, as it is nothing-nothing. And I think coming out of the quarter, we're going to try for a big play. We're going to try for a shock play. It's Kirk with the catch, and he is going to be in the end zone after breaking that tackle. And that's why you do it. You try those plays. He was wide open. And I hit a juke play, and it hit a juke, and it ended up working for me. What a find. It's a beautiful catch here. And then that juke that ends up being a broken tackle allows him to get enough space to dive into the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Houston Texans, and we take the lead. Three plays, 52 yards for that drive. 
And we've been in control of this game so far, I have to tell you. I don't think the Dolphins are comfortable in any situation. So, we are, uh, we're solid. It's a pass from Tua. Pressure coming in. Oh, he caught that ball, Gesicki. And he, no way, he was down. 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 I hope they review that because it's going to give them an extra, like, 30, 30 yards almost. you got to be kidding me. Can I challenge it? Yeah, that's what I want to challenge because they gained so many yard, more yards off of that. But he's certainly down. And that takes it all the way back to the 46. That's beautiful. That's a good challenge. I'm glad we did it. Because, man, Waddle picked that up and just went off. Went to fucking town. Rujay Hill and Jayon Brown combined for a tackle there. Let's see. If they want to run it, I'm down to bring people every time. It's not going to be a run, though. It's a fake front, false front there. Gesicki makes another catch and breaks another tackle. Mike Gesicki is getting it done for them. Kayvon Thibodeau. I want to get him around the outside. I want him to get to these guys, but just the quick throws. So many quick throws, and he's just not getting around to inferior competition. Rouge Hill, I'm going to hold out here. And Tua is going to take it, and I'm, oh, man, I want to delay him out. Seven yards for Tua. Let's see, Ross Blacklock, so he's made a lot of plays this year. He broke off the tackle, but it wasn't run towards him. It was run the other way, so it is a touchdown Miami. And they went right down the field on us uh, there and e made it look easy after we had stifled them for quite much of this game. 92 yards they go there. Man, that Gesicki completion was just a killer. Now we got Tyler Algier coming up. We'll get it up to the 28. It's a good return. I want to call a play action fork, is what I want to call. See if I can get another opening here on a play action pass. We do. Oh, Cooks was open, man. Oh, he was so open. Alright, let's just go back to the run then. And Jamal Williams able to get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. So it's now third and ten. I'm looking at Christian Kirk here while everyone else goes deep and clears out. Maybe Cooks. Maybe Cooks. He's beat him. He beat him. Yup. Eleven hundred yards receiving now for Brandon Cooks. That's a great find. I mean, he was just one on one with somebody, and he was playing way too close to him for me to think that Cooks could not run him, beat the play. Mills took a hit, but he beat Javon Holland, I think that is, just faster. Just got under it. Byron Jones. Oh, Byron Jones made the tackle. All right, so that's a huge play. Let's get it back to Jamal Williams now. Keep working it to him. He's going to gain two yards there. It says one, actually. We'll go back to him again. This is the, this is what got this is why the play action is working is because we were committed to this run, and, but they are committed to stopping it right now. So I'm looking at Njoku again. That's a tight window, and Mills hit it. It's a great find. Three catches, 47 yards for Njoku so far today.
94 Will is the call, so here's the handoff. And Jamal Williams goes for two yards before being touched down. Um, uh, I like this little set against... And then Joku's just wide open. They, they, left, they made that far too easy. Seven touchdown catches for Njoku on the year. Him and Cooks, I think, both have seven now. Maybe Cooks has eight. But that's a good drive. Eight plays, 71 yards, three minutes and 35 seconds. Peck strain for Tunsil. We got to keep him in the game because he's our best offensive lineman by a mile. And let's just kick this one off. We're up by a touchdown again, folks. Three minutes left in, in the first half. I thought this was a game. This is definitely a game we should we should win. And we should be up by more when you think about it because we threw that interception that they ended up going down and scoring after. Thibodeau's got to get off these blocks. Not even working hard. Tungvayo's got nowhere to go. Like one on one, Thibodeau needs to win these battles. He gets off him now. It's too too little, too late. And it's going to be the two minute warning here, well before a third and three. We got to call a blitz, and it's not going to be Thibodeau's side because he doesn't do well with it. Waddle tries to make a juke, but Justin Reed hit him hard. Jimmy Moreland hurt on the play for us. He is our number three cornerback. I think it is. He's Al Shair now. And he hammers Mike Gesicki. Only a three yard gain. The clock keeps moving. That's going to be caught and out of bounds. Jimmy Moreland, uh, we'll keep him out for now. We don't need him in for this second. Let's call the blitz. I like the blitz call. I really do. But I need Jayon Brown to scream over here or cover all these guys. Ugh. Too many guys to try to cover. So Douglas with a hard hit after that's caught by Waddle. Chris Godwin, the Rod God, is on the squad. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take over Jayon Brown again. They call the timeout. I imagine they're going to look to call another here. Yep. They keep thinking and dunking on us right here. I thought we had our game plan to protect against that, but we're just not executing it. I'm going to cover the outside. Al Shair got him fumble. Now Rasul Douglas just has to outrun everybody. I don't know if he's going to be able to. He's slow as hell. 87 speed only. But he's going to do it. Uh, unbelievable. Aziz Al Shair, I ran up and absolutely obliterated to a. I don't know if it's a true fumble or not. We'll have to wait and see. But at the very least, that's a huge play. And they are not even going to review it, so it must be. Al Shair, Aziz Al Shair gives us another defensive touchdown. What a play by him. Just because to it, you can see he's. I saw he was running. Let me just get it from this angle. I saw he was running, so I started sprinting towards where he was, and just it just measured up perfectly. Hit stick. Oh yeah, that ball's way out. He's losing it as soon as I hit him. And Douglas was just able to pick it up and just outrun everybody. George Fant couldn't stop him. And that's beautiful. That so we get another touchdown before the end of the half. We get the ball to start the second half. That's just wonderful. Aziz Al Shair, huge play. Rasul Douglas, a huge play. Returning it all the way to the end zone, outrunning everybody, and phew, it looks like we might be on our on our way to a victory. 
Let's make sure we don't give up anything cheap before the end of the half, of course. Jayon Brown is who I'm going to use her here. They will find a man. Wa uh, is that? No, it's not Wallace. Devontae Parker gets out of bounds. Only a four yard gain, though, so it's not really anything of significance. <laughs> Al Shahir right there again to make another tackle. Devontae Parker short of the first down. And they will call a timeout for whatever reason. And let's see what two has got for third and one. That's going to be caught, and he's going to run a good way here. Get out of bounds at the 45. Oh, wow. Damn. I can't believe I escaped. I, I fucked it up, I mean, quite obviously, but... <laughs> we'll just let the clock run out. I have no interest in stopping the clock for them. The field goal unit was never going to get on in time. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see what we want to do here. I want to run ball inside more again since we have a big lead, and then we want to defend the pass, make sure they don't do anything crazy on us. But this is a chance to, for us to take a commanding lead, a more commanding lead than we've had all season, I think. I don't think we've been up by three touchdowns all season on anybody. We've definitely been up by two, though. But this would be huge. This would be a huge game, a huge win for us. And just to dominate like this too, and then we we we, we had the division leading Titans coming in next week. I saw I was taking a little peek peekaboo at the calendar and noticed that. So or the tight I say Texans, I meant Titans. If I did, um, we've beaten the Titans once this year, or no, we didn't. I wanted to. I was I really want to because I hate the Titans, but we didn't. <laughs> Is that a catch? <laughs> Um, but yeah, what I was saying, what I was saying, yeah, so this, we could carry this momentum of a big, if we can get a big d dominating win and carry that momentum in the next week, great run by Jamal Williams, by the way, breaking tackles, making sure he gets there. Um, we could maybe pull an upset and be a little bit of, play a little bit of spoiler. We did upset that we've already upset the Colts as division leaders this year. Perhaps it's the Titans turn. It was a dangerous throw. I don't know what I was doing. Let's make sure we hit this halfback zone here. Gains a yard. Two. So it's now third and eight. Let's see if we can get somebody down the field here. Uh, I was going to have Christian Watson if I had a half a second more to throw. I had to get rid of it, though. And now Chris, uh, Corey Borquez. Oh, man, I, was, I kicked way further to the side than I wanted it to, but it's out at the 17. It's not a bad punt from there. And let's see what the Miami Dolphins have in store for us here. Jay on Brown, I control, and I run right up and hit Chase Edmonds in the backfield for a loss. It's beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. I'm going to be Jay on Brown because their two best receiving weapons are on the right side here. Oh, but it's a run, and I'll combine with Al Shahir for that tackle. It's good stuff. Third and seven. Let's hold this shit. Let's hold them. Maybe El Shair over in the middle. Uh, and that was a, just a bunch of crossing routes, and man, Devontae Parker just weaving, bobbing, and weaving around. 
but it, it is a conversion for the Dolphins. So you don't like to see that, but I'm still feeling positive, still feeling happy about the the situation. Let's change what they think they're seeing. There we go. Two is running, but he's hit by Camus Grugier Hill after a gain of five. Six yards. That's a little generous, in my opinion, but they give it to him. Jayon Brown. There we go. A fighting through the wash, getting another tackler, leading tackler by a heck of a lot. But he's been, he, he was even hurt earlier in the year. Covered the outside. I think it's, a, I think I know the play. And he slides, and he gets a first down, I believe. Dang. But they were taking a ton of time to have to get there. To get to, um... Or they're taking a ton of time off the clock as they try to go down and score. So that's fine by me, because I plan on running some clock as well with Jamal Williams. Oh! Try to lower your shoulder on me. Mike Gesicki. You ain't that guy. This is fine. If you want to just take 20 minutes to get up and down the field, like, go for it, bro. <laughs> it's a blitz coming in. Jayon Brown startled him incomplete. Tua keeps changing the play at the line, man. I don't know what he's seeing. Oh, damn. That's what he was seeing, I guess. That's disappointing. Those fade rats have been killing us today. At least on this on the stream today. Um Second game now we've been up a deep touchdown on a fade route like that. I think we gave up one to the Cowboys earlier in the season, too. Not positive. I really want to hold on to this win, so we need to do something on offense here. Pick up a few first downs at the very least. We'd love to score. Um, and we're going to try to do that mostly through running the football. It's our bread and butter today. And he's going to gain a yard, Jamal Williams. the wide receiver option. We'll have Watson run the option around. I'd rather have Cooks just coming in on a slant. And got it right there. Beautiful. Nine, uh, second and nine made it look too easy. Second catch for him for 60 yards to the end. He has 60 yards. And now Jamal Williams just running through everybody, running around everybody. 15 carry, 69 yards on the outside run there. Bounced it out. This is what we want to see. This is what we want Jamal Williams to be doing for us. Pounding the ball, gaining yardage. Will Richardson Jr., a backup who is in for us, is now hurt. We're going to do potion most dig. <laughs> PA motion post dig. I said motion most. And they're close to the line here, man. This is interesting. Oh, man. If I could have got that. If I could have. If my offensive line could have blocked. If we could have blocked a little bit. We had a touchdown. We were going to have a touchdown. No doubt in my mind. Kirk. Oh, he's out of bounds. Or is that Cooks? Yeah. Didn't get his feet in. Um, we'll substitute Titus Howard. I mean, I don't want to punt, really. How far is the field goal attempt? I'm going to try the field goal with Joey Sly. 60 yards. I think he can make it in a dome. Wins against us, but I still think he can make this. Buried it. Don't tell me I can't make that kick. Madden. Don't even suggest it. That, that would have been good from 65, I bet.
This is why you sign kickers with 98, 99 kick power. You have to do it because the accuracy, like accuracy is the easier part. You can control the accuracy. I can control the accuracy. You can't control the kick power other than just like the, the maximum kick power the guy has in the game. Joey Sly was a seal for us, and I can't believe he buried that 60 yarder without any issues. And Edmonds makes the catch. He's going to gain about five yards on that. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I guess it's okay. Oh. oh, it's a play action fake. I got faked out. And it's a bad throw by Tua, though. He had Gesicki, just let him far too far. We're going to bring a little heat again on this play. I'll take over Jonathan Grenard, is the zone over the middle. Hopefully, the pressure gets there. Covering him. Tua has eight carries today for 35 yards, I and mean, he's really just running out of the pocket because we're covering these guys up really well. But he's not gaining a lot of yards, and he's wasting a lot of time, so I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. If he wants to keep doing that, by all means, he's welcome to. Saw that draw coming, came up, got that hit. Only a two-yard gain. Jayon Brown, I've been great with him today. Usually I'm scared using linebackers, but I've been great with him today. Oh, I had I had to cover the inside of those guys too. Come on, Rasul. He's just so bad at man coverage. I think that anytime it's called, like he just gets beat. And Kayvon Thibodeau, I just noticed, is going up against George Fant, who's actually pretty solid in the game. So I can't complain too much about him. Why does that happen every time? Every time that break tackle animation happens, another guy who comes in just falls down when it happens. Madden needs to fix their shit, bro. I, that's, that's the most unrealistic thing in the world. I don't know how the same people, it's the EA Sports, I don't know how the same the company can employ developers who do FIFA and Madden because it's so drastically different in how much better FIFA is than Madden development-wise as a game. Um, but I'm not going to rant about that because now we are in a dead heat game, one possession, field goal game. Tyler Algier... Tyler Algier, he might be gone. I think he is. Kobe Bryant's not going to catch him. Tyler Algier returns a kick for a touchdown for us. Unbelievable play. I am hype. Look at him in there with the fans. Get up there. Yeah. Man, I, it's been a while since I've returned a kick for a touchdown. I love it. And Algier's not even a good kick returner. That's not even a good replay of it. That's the end part of it. Man, let's like let's take a look at the replay. Let's see where we pick this one up. So we get it all the way at the kick. It's gonna be about a ninety-seven or eighty what is it? He's at the twelve eighty eight yard return for a touchdown then, I'd say. But look at this blocking. Great blocking there. Daryl Williams going up. Great job by whoever that, who is number 48 out there making Anzalone making unbelievable blocks. Daryl Williams would block. Great block on the kicker there by KJ Wright. And then we have a Dorsett is our, basically our enforcer going ahead and, and just able to dance around everybody I was. I was able to go right up that seam, dance around everyone. A great block, block here, making sure he didn't block him in the back. Blindside block Jimmy Moreland. Dorsett hitting that block was perfect. And it was just gone to the races from there. What is happening? Oh, God, I hate when Madden does this. Okay, there we go. And Joey Sly adds the extra point, and it is a 10-point game again just like that. Snap of the fingers, and Tyler Algier is gone. So now we are just going to make sure we kick it through the end zone for Quez, make sure there is no chance for Miami to respond to that. 
what a huge play that was. Can't get over how how great that play was for us. Tibbs, you need to get around these guys, man. Devontae Parker getting good. Two is having a great game. 21 of 28 for 300 yards and two toddies, I think it said. All right, let's get back to Al Shahir. Oh, he, Thibodeau hit him. And that's going to be dropped. Thank God. That was almost animated into a catch, but McDuffie knocks it out. Be Thibodeau again. Well, that's caught, but tackled immediately by Jayon Brown is Chase Edmonds. So it's now third and seven. I think we need to bring some heat, and I think it's going to be another man coverage because they're not going to expect it. It's an overload blitz. It's caught by Waddle, but not, he wasn't tackled by McDuffie for whatever reason. Uh, so it's a first down and a lot more. Aziz Al Shair comes through, hits him first. Link McDowell cleans it up. Three yard gain. And the clock just tick, 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 tick for the Dolphins. Incomplete on the screen pass to a. He thought there was more pressure coming than there really was. Man, I thought Justin Reed was going to knock that ball out, but Lynn Bowden Jr. making the catch for the Dolphins in that critical situation for a first down. Barely a first down, but a first down nonetheless. And there we go. A good tackle there. Al Shire right there to clean it up after only three yards. Everyone did their job. I don't know why they're running the ball at this point. It seems silly. And he's hit hard by Justin Reed. So we got five minutes and counting now. Nowhere to go with it for Tua. Throws to throw it through the end zone. Be Jay on Brown again. Are they gonna actually gonna run this? They did run the ball. Gruje Hill can't finish the tackle, but luckily we do have Justin Ryu comes up and does it. Ross Blacklock is hurt. He's been very quietly good in the trenches for us this year, so I'm sad to see him go down. I'm gonna beat Marcus May here, and I'm gonna take away. All right, I wanted to take away the inside, but. George Fant is hurt for Miami, so that could give Thibodeau an opportunity to get something done if um, we give the Dolphins the ball back. But I'm not planning on doing that if I have anything to say about it. They've had a much better second half. That is for certain. That cannot be denied. But I think we can just run out the clock here. And we'll see if and they're going to give Algier a chance to return another one, maybe. And he sneaks up there. It's another great return up to the 33. Mills has been stymied pretty bad at throwing the ball since in here in the second half. Miami is 415 total yards. God damn. But we're going to run this ball, of course, and it's going to be a holding penalty probably. That's terrible after a first down run. So it'll be first and 18 now. That is an you can't have the, those things happen in games like when you're trying to close out games. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this. Actually, I am gonna throw it. 
thought I wasn't gonna get I thought I was gonna bluff it, but I am. It's caught by Kirk. Second ten. Make sure we run some clock. We'll hike it. We'll just, we'll just go up with it. Two yards. Third and eight now. This is a big game. This is a big play. I like the Salem play. I'm looking at Kirk. I was going to look at Njoku more, but man, I don't know. I might move him over now. What a find to Kirk. That's a first down. That's a beautiful find. I didn't think he was going to be able to make that throw, but he did. And they put enough juice behind it. Got it there before the DB can make a move. Now Jamal Williams, that's about four or five yards. And we can uh, almost get this to the two-minute warning. We're going to run to the weak side of here because they have so many guys lined up ready to stop us on the strong side. It's just a blitz. It's just an all-out blitz to stop the run, and they do. So it'll be um, the two-minute warning, and it's third and eight, and I think we might throw this ball. Or we might do a halfback draw. Let's see what the Let's see what it looks like. I like the draw play if they don't blitz. And they don't blitz, and the draw play is just short. Oh. I think we go for this. I think we should go for this, for sure. We're right at the, we're across midfield. And they're just going to give it to us, basically. Oh, my lord. Oh, are you kidding? It, did, it stopped his sneak animation? How does that even work? Tell me how that's a thing. Hey, where are you going, Gesicki? There we go. They're going nowhere. Even if they pick up the, if they can get a field goal, maybe. That's grounding. Come on now. Kasiki has eight catches, man. That's unreal. That's a great tackle by Jalen Brown. He slid short to the first. No, he doesn't. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, he... That's complete. I'm going to be so mad if I lose this game, man. I'm going to be so upset. But it looks like they're ready to run the ball. It's a play action. We stayed ready. It's caught, and he's out of bounds. Oh, and he's short. All right, so they're going to go for the field goal to try to tie this game, send it to overtime. 
we can make sure there's still going to be time on the clock for us to maybe try something. Oh, I just missed the block. I'm so bad at timing it now in Madden 22. I used to be so good at Madden 21 at timing it. How did he miss that? That would have been huge. That would have been absolutely humongous. Let's see what we got, Tyler Algier. He's had great returns at this point, but not this time. <sighs> Man, that is killer. We're going to have to go to overtime in this game. But let's uh, try a throw. Why not? See how high up we can get onto the field. Out at the 36, I'll take it. We'll go for Cooks deep. See, oh, I was going to see if he could just moss somebody, maybe run, go get the ball, get a touchdown, but we're going to overtime, folks. First overtime game of the series. And we have won the toss. We will certainly receive. We will certainly receive the ball. And we have to watch the coin toss, even though we've all gone through the whole thing already. So let's see if we can just go win this game. I am not messing around. I need. We need another victory. We need some moral victories on this team. Take a knee. Thank you, Tyler Algier. And let's... um. Man, let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm going to be disappointed if we cannot get this, pull out this victory. I'm going to be very mad if we don't pull out this victory. Jamal Williams, it's a good run of six yards. Cooks, got it. A draw play, and I did not think the defensive tackle was going to beat the center that way. That was where the hole was for the second that it was available. Sad. All right, let's see what we got now. Christian Kirk, good find over in the middle. The linebackers vacated the area, so we had the opening. Took advantage, so it's now third and two. I think this power play has got to get us the, the first down. It has to do it for us. We got it. What? What? Oh, that's unbelievable. I cannot believe they didn't call that. Thank you, Abu, for review. It, you know it's egregious when the booth is going to buzz in and review a spot of the ball challenge. I thought that was a ridiculous spot. It's first and ten. Thank you. Thank you, replay booth. So we are now across the 50-yard line. Touchdown wins the game. A field goal and running out the clock also wins the game. So running the ball is really just going to be the goal here. Jamal Williams is going to get a healthy dose of the football. Oh, and he fell over. Let's do the read option. I love it. I love the idea. I'm a big fan of this. Let's let the clock run a little bit more, though, because we definitely want the clock to keep running if we don't pick it up. Too easy. They gave me way too much space out there. Nine yards. It's a first down. We're over 100 yards of Jamal Williams. And we'll go to the two-minute warning in overtime now. I'm fine just running at the clock and just continuing to run the ball. No need to throw. Zero, zero need to throw in this situation. We're just going to let the clock keep ticking. Collins. 
Let the clock keep ticking down. They still have two timeouts. They can use them both if they want because they know I'm going to be able to kick a field goal, but I don't know if the Madden AI is intelligent enough to realize that. But I think I'm playing this game as smart as I can right now. Need to get the win. Two yards there for Jamal Williams. So it's now third and eight. Again, like I said, there is no need to throw the ball. I will do a screen pass. <laughs> And that will be my only pass of the day, or of the overtime period, I think. Because even if it goes for a loss, we're still in field goal range. If it ends up incomplete, the clock is basically expired. To throw Mills. We got him. That's the first down. That is a first down anyway. Well, let's just call a timeout here. And let's just center, let's center it up and call a timeout. I don't know why it's not suggesting I kick a field goal and win the game, but for whatever reason, it's just not. So I have to go in and take a field goal. Joey Sly, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to be real upset if we somehow fuck this up, but it should be easy enough. Oh my god, I did fuck it up. I'm sorry, I'm not... I'm not going to lose a game like that. I'm at, I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to lose a game like that. Or tie a game like that. That's unbelievable. Welcome back in everyone to EA Sports coverage of the NFL. Oh, I guess we get to redo over time total. <laughs> But yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm not losing a game on a fucked up like thing like that because I, the, the, I don't know why the kick meter went so slow there. It went so slow, apparently. But no, I'm not going to lose a game. I'll lose a game. If I lose this game, I'll lose the game. But I'm certainly not going to lose a game on that unbelievable. We fucked up, but like missed 25 yard field goal. I think Kirk might be gone. Nope. Oh, what a catch. See, this is better. This is, I, I feel much better. I'm going to take out my frustrations on the fact that that, was un, that that all just happened there at the end. And I'm just going to... And I don't even care what you think out there. Because you know for damn sure you would be doing the same fucking thing. I mean, that's just too easy. I mean, they didn't put anyone on him. I mean, <laughs> we deserved to win that game, and I was not going to lose it because of that fucked up kick. The kick, sl the kick meter is never consistent in Madden anymore. Sometimes it goes really fast. On the kickoffs, it will. But on the actual kicks, it goes slow. I don't understand when it decides to go slow or why it decides to go slow on the kicks because some of the kicks are fast too. It's just uh, it's too much. Too much to try to figure to uh, deal with and I'm not going to lose a game because of it. So we took the dub. We're now 4-8 and because it's, <laughs> it's not like that win even mattered anyway. We killed our draft stock but Whatever. We deserved it, and I wanted it for the morale's sake. 
And here we are. We have a weekly award winner. It is Rasul Douglas with the fumble recovery and a touchdown and a sack. Um, but it looks like next week here against the Titans, we are going to have a breakout player opportunity. And it's the game before the bye week. So, yeah, solid. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to end the video, guys. We're going to go up against the 8-3 and three division-leading Titans next time. See if we can pull a little upset, be play a little spoiler. Um, but, yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, games we got today. Uh, if you were watching on Twitch, you got to watch all three live. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, this is going to be the end of the Dolphins Week 12 clip. Um, so, yeah, but, again, thank you guys for tuning in. If you could, hit that follow, subscribe whatever you're watching, hit a like button if you're on YouTube. So, um, yeah. But for now, that's the end. Week 13 will be next. I am Justin. This has been my world today, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.